Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to explore the first of the three trigonometric functions that you ought to be familiar with when you take physics. The first one is the sine of the angle. And so let's say we have an example problem here. We have a spring-loaded gun where we have some object that's being shot into the air at an angle of 30 degrees with some initial velocity. Notice that the velocity is a vector and that the magnitude of the vector is 20 meters per second. The angle is 30 degrees and we want to know the y component of that initial velocity. So what we're going to do here is indicate that this here then represents the x component. So this would be v sub x initially. So v initial sub x, I should say. And then the y component would look like this. So that would be v uh, initial in the y direction. All right. And so we want to find the magnitude of this component right here. So what it always comes down to is you have to find or identify a triangle. So let's use a different color here. So I'm going to look at this triangle right here. There's my triangle. And then since these are vectors, the v sub naught is a vector, the v sub naught in the x direction is a vector, the v sub naught in the y direction is a vector. Vectors can be moved in any direction as long as the direction doesn't change and the, amplitude, the magnitude doesn't change. So I can take this component and move it over there. So I'm going to move the v sub y component over in this direction and so put it right there and now notice v sub not in the y direction notice i now have a nice triangle made by the initial velocity right here and the initial velocity in the direction in the x direction component and the initial velocity in the y direction component now you realize that the angle theta is right here and then you have to recognize that this side right here is opposite to the angle and then also realize that the definition of the sine of the angle, the sine of the angle, theta, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So I always would like to start out by writing this definition down. Now the only thing left to do is recognize what the opposite side is in this case and what the hypotenuse is in this case. So the opposite side is the magnitude of v sub naught y. So this would be equal to v sub naught in the y direction, the initial velocity in the y direction, and the hypotenuse is equal to simply be the initial velocity. And since we're looking for the magnitude of that component right there, then we simply have to algebraically solve for that. So that's how we set it up. You write down the definition of the sine, it's the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, then you recognize what the opposite sine is, you recognize what the hypotenuse is, and then you algebraically solve for the item that you're looking for. So in this case, we can then say that v sub naught times the sine of theta by moving the v sub naught over here will be equal to the v sub naught in the y direction. Turning the equation around, we have v sub naught in the y direction equal v sub naught times the sine of theta. And so v sub naught is equal to 20 meters per second. And then we multiply the times the sine of theta, which is sine of 30 degrees, which is 1 half. So this would be equal to 20 meters per second times 1 half or 10 meters per second. And so you can see that all you have to do is recognize the ratio making up the sine opposite of hypotenuse, then find out what the opposite side is, find the hypotenuse, and then simply algebraic solve for the value. And that's one of the three components of the trigonometric function that you need to know. On the next video, we'll show you how to deal with the cosine of the angle in a very different situation that makes it kind of unique as well. So take a look at the next one and see how we deal with the cosine of the angle theta.